and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at Clover's surplus Sudoku. Um, yeah, uh, I, I could have said more words there, but it would have felt like a surplus. Um, Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ. So am I. My name is Bill Murphy. Um, hello, it's my pleasure and honor to solve this one for you. Uh, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person reading this. Um, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description, right down there. You will also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Now, I'm going to give you the heads up today. Um, this is only a seven by seven, but... Uh, the two hat time is kind of big for that. Um, so just a heads up, don't, um, don't underestimate today's puzzle. Now, let's get into it. I, I say that because the amount of times I've been destroyed by a surplus Sudoku is ridiculous. But this is surplus Sudoku. So fill the grid with the digits one to seven so that each row, each column contains each digit exactly once. And each outlined region contains each digit ex at least once. So, um, well, you know, this row could be like, I'm just going to make something up. Five, uh, six, two, seven, three, as an example. I, this region has eight digits in it. So it might have uh six and a six uh six and a three my keyboard just hated me there six and a six might be the thing um but it could also have like a uh seven and a oh yeah i'm getting a little bit mixed up there um but this a region will need to have the digits uh one to seven at, uh sorry i'm thinking of this region um, this region will need to have two digits twice. So that's a seven and seven, and that can be a three to go with the other three. Um, very, very careful with this one. Double check your assumptions. I'm going to give you um, a bunch of uh, things to think about while we're doing this, so that way you don't end up making the same mistakes that I have. Fingers crossed. But... If you want to, um, if you want to give this a go before you watch me do it, um, links in the description. Um, so I'm going to start and we're going to go through this. Now, key thing to remember about surplus Sudoku is that each region must still contain each number once. So where does one go in my top right region? Well, one can't go in those cells and those cells because I've already got one in the row in the column. The one has to go there. Now, where does one go in this region? Well, uh, it cannot go in those four cells, so one must go there. Um, we might have another one. We don't know just yet. Uh, but, and then, here's a neat little thing. I have to put two more ones into this grid somehow. Um, now, the only way I can, but they can only fit in these four cells. And because uh, I know that I can't break regular Sudoku rules of, you know, one to seven in each column, I can't put one and one that way, so I must put one and one this way. Now, let's look at two. Now, where does two go in the bottom right region? Well, two has to go there, um, because it can't go there in the row or the column. Now, where does two go in this region? Well, two can't go in those cells because I've just got two two there. So two has to go here. Now, I need to put at least one two into this region. So two can't go there or there or there or there or there because of that I already have. So uh, two needs to go in this region at least there. And now, finally, I have uh, five twos in this grid. So I need to place one in one of those two cells. And then, hey, there we go. I don't have a two in row four. So um, those are the only cells I can put two in. 
twos must go in those two cells. Now, top left region, where do I put three? Well, three can't go in those cells. Three must go there. Um, all right. I need to put a three in this region. I don't know what to call that, but we will say three can't go in those cells, so that has to be. I need to put a seven in at least one of those two cells, and I might even make a corner mark with it. Um, all right, now. Um, hey, I can even do a triple here. That's a three, six, seven triple because of the column. And I'll put three and six in this cell. I can't repeat a digit. So I can do a three, a six, and that. Now, this has to be four and five, but because I have a five in the column, I know which way around that goes. That's pretty handy. Um, three, six, seven up here. This is a five, seven pair. Um, uh, so this must have a five in one of those two cells, but because I've got a five. All right, so that's a five. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's let's keep going. Can I finish off my threes? I might be able to now. Yeah, where does three go in row three? You must go there. Because I have three, three, and three going there. So three must go there. So I did promise that I was going to share some sort of like deep found insight into what um how to how to deal with surface Sudoku. The key things to remember are not how to when you are scanning your rows and columns, remember that you have to have it once at least. So don't go looking for like what the duplicate is, go looking for what you're missing. As an example, in row one, where does three go? Well, three can't go there because of one, so three must go here. Um, now, that is a six or a seven. Um, where does four go? I'm noticing, if you haven't noticed the pattern already, well, I don't know what to say. Um, let's go, let's go looking at fours. Can I do fours? Uh, oi, oi, oi. I cannot do fours. Maybe I overstated. I know that four has to go. Because four can't go there, so I need to put a four there. It means four can't go there, so I know four has to go in one of those two cells. There might be another four, for all we know. Um, this is a six, seven pair. We don't know if that's a triple. Um, but oh, this is a four, five. Uh, that's a six, seven pair. Um, what else have I got going on? Mm -hmm. Well, this is four, six. Can I do anything with that? Maybe. Oh, who knows? Oh, where does five go in this column? Five can't go there, so that must be five. Um, all right. Oh, and now where does five, now five can't, uh, Five has been taken up in row four, which means I only have one spot that I can place five in this region. So five has to go there. Puts a four and a five like that, uh, which undoes that. Six and seven. Yes. Six and seven. See, even I'm doubting myself, and I've solved this puzzle before. Seven, six. Uh, this is six and seven and a six. Uh, this is a four, can't put a four there, so that's a seven, and that must be a four. So, that's been Surplus Sudoku by Clover. Um, I'm still Bill Murphy, last time I checked, and wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I, uh, if you can't tell, I'm already in bed, because, you know, vibes. But, um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.